Yeah, it's been good. I think if you look back at our last sort of 10 games, you'll see a, a good run of form and a bit of momentum, especially some big teams we played there. Um, have been good and we've got our home form back on track now and we we look like a, a really good side at home one hard to beat and when we play away we're sort of playing some good football and we're, and, and uh, even though the injuries we've had we've been we've been we've been brilliant at the back and uh, that's credit to the boys out of the squad you know keeping fit and, and chomping at the bit to come in hard work sorry um, winning against Chesterfield on Tuesday bottom of the league um, the scoreline perhaps a bit closer than mm. some might have thought before but I guess this stage of season, it's just all about the, the points, isn't it? Yeah, it was. I think, I mean, it was, it was tough conditions. The wind was, was was really bad first half, so I think it was vital to get the first goal and uh, and in, in for the first. And then we deserved the second. I think we had a good bit of sustained pressure and it got a bit nervous towards the end, which it didn't need to be. I think we should have possibly been a bit been a bit better in that last half an hour and you know saw the game out but uh, you know we did what we needed to and we've done that many times this season when we've been one goal ahead in the last 10 minutes to see the game out. Playing Crawley on Saturday of course a team with little to play for can't yeah. go up can't go down does that in a way make it a harder game put the pressure on? Uh, yeah it can do because you know players sort of, I mean there's there's never nothing games players are playing for contracts the season after and looking to impress now more than ever um, to you know to, to get the, the manager to to, um, to give them a new deal or, or, or anything like that. So that it's going to be tough and they, they were tough when we played them away and had some good uh, individuals. So um, they went on a really good run, I think, a few games back in it and uh, they we're looking to get the playoffs. So they're, they're, they're not a bad side, they're, they're, a, good, they're a good team and we're, we'll be taking them, taking them really seriously. On a personal um, level, 22 goals this season, 17 in the league, I think. Is that a target you were hoping to achieve or perhaps more uh, yeah, 20 was always not a nice one to hit, you know, I didn't set myself a target when I got here, obviously missing the first, you know, like sort of six games when I got here was, was, was frustrating, but um, no, it wasn't, I didn't really set myself a target, I thought if I, you know, if I, if I play my game and with the, 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 the chances the lads create here, I, I should be able to get on, on the end of a few and I've been lucky that, you know, the midfield and, and everyone's contributed to, to me scoring quite a few goals. You've played with quite a few strike parts this season mm. lately, Robbie Simpson, Matt Jay. I mean, first year of Robbie Simpson coming back, you must be delighted. Yeah, it's good. I've played with a few players this season and this and everyone's got their own attributes and they sort of feed off each other and you know, Robbie's quite similar to me, he's, he's, he's brilliant in the air and he holds the ball up really well and he's, he's clever little touches here and there and uh, it was brilliant to see him score the other week. Um, and he sort of sometimes takes the pressure off me if those balls are going into the box and takes another centre half away, so it creates a bit more space. And you've got Liam and MJ as well, who uh, who do who who also do that really well, sort of uh, the legs, and they can run and, and pick up pockets, and they do that really really well. So it's been brilliant playing with all. Liam Liam was brilliant to play play with. He his pace sort of threatens everyone. And, and MJ, you know, one of the Accrington players said when he went off, like how busy he was and how good his movement was. And it was he's, he's coming in and hit a real. Uh, uh, rich vein of form. Mm. And just on the promotion race, like I said, playoffs basically in the bag by a spectacular collapse. But, um, you know, two points off Wickham, in a way, you sort of keeping an eye on, on their results. Obviously, they drew with, with Lincoln the other night and they've got, I think, Accrington on Saturday. That's going to be a, a tough game for them as well. It? Yeah, it's going to be tough. The last three games, you know, this, this, you look at every three games here throughout the season, it's very rare that a team goes and wins three games on the bounce. So so I think there's going to be a slip on the way. We've just got to concentrate that, that, it's, that it's not going to be us. And, you know, they're a good team as well as we are, so we've got to respect that. And uh, we're both up the end. If you win your three games and you still don't go up, you sort of you count yourself unlucky, really. Um, but that's all we can do at this point in time. I think we've done fantastic considering the, the injuries we've got and and the, and the people that have come into the side have, have been fantastic. And I mean that we're going to need this big support there Saturday. And uh, hopefully it's uh, hopefully the sun's out, the fans are full of full of voice, and we can uh, we can put on a good show for them. Just finally on conditions, you know, you mentioned the other night conditions were, were difficult with the mm -hmm. wind. Lovely day here today, it's probably going to be the same on, on Saturday. We've had all weather yeah. conditions this season. I mean, does that, is it going to be you know, harder to play in the heat than perhaps like the snow? Or I, th I, the think, I think, I think we, we, we will cope with it well. I don't think it ever gets too hot here, but yeah, it's been, seems like every game we have at Exeter is, is drizzly and just raining. So um, it's going to be nice for a change and it's, it's up to us to provide that spark and, that, and to carry on this momentum that we've had recently of, um, of winning games. And, uh, you know, this game is as big as everyone, that, everyone that's come before us before. So we, we, uh, we deserve to be where we are. We, we're going to push for, for that third place and uh, uh, we're going to need everyone behind us to hopefully uh, 
to hopefully get there.